Simbits for us, so today we are here on a single player world. I am showing off the custom structure generator by Tyrus Wu himself. As you can see, we're on Minecraft 1.12, and um, let's see. It was, uh, as I said, made by Tyrus Wu. It contains 116 structures by default, so that's just pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, there is Tyrus Wu's YouTube link, I'll leave it in the description, and right now I'm trying to get the Patreon to work, but anyway, um, I'm sadly was unable to get the audio to function properly beforehand, so this is our post-recording. So as you can see now, it works, as you can see, so that's his Patreon. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn the rest of the video after the tutorial and basic turning on stuff into a time lapse. So and you yeah, have an end portal and another portal for us. So, um, let us begin here with the installation in a second after I show you the floaty dragon egg of doom and destruction. So, anyway, you start, escape, you escape out of the game, you go over to Google Chrome, or whatever web browser you want to use, you go to tyroswoo.com slash minecraft dash game dash changer, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And so you want to click on the big blue download button, super big, scary, big blue thing, the cloud and the down arrow and the, the download for Minecraft 1.12 button, you know, you know the download button. So then you want to head over to Finder, and by the way that is just the normal window for Minecraft, like the Finder folder where everything's in, like the save, all that, lo all that jazz. So let's head over to Tyrus Wu, unzip it, and of course... Of course, you gotta unzip it. That's the only way to work. Duh. So, and then you see all these folders. That's just a normal README folder. Don't need to worry about that. No, I mean, file. That's just a README folder. You don't need to worry about it. We'll cover most of it here in the video. And yeah, just blah 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 blah. At the end of the video, you don't have to watch the very. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show how to get your own packs, but I have no clue if that's. If, if that's the right way to do it, how to put in your own custom, like, um, packs of structures. I don't know if I did it right, so just, wait, I'll make an update video f once Tyrus shows us how. You also have the ability to create your own files, that's really cool. So anyway, you want to open up that link to Emerald Fire's math library, that one. Double click that, it should open inside your web browser. I'm just trying to figure out a way to open it on the same desktop. Please just don't do what I'm doing. Just double click on it, okay? Just do a quick like tap, tap, double click on it. Open it up. It should open in your selected web browser. And as you can see, once it launches, I'm gonna try to spend like 12 years dragging it across desktops and stuff. So um, yeah, la 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 la. Wait for past me to hurry up and do his job. There we go. There we no, not yet. No. Dang it. Uh, maybe someday. Maybe someday. There we go. If you want to smash.zip, press download. It should download everything automatically once you press the download button. And then once that is done, sorry. You want to unzip that. Drag it all the way over into your tire into your tire through folder. Then from then drag it again into data functions. Drag it into functions. Right there into functions. Drop it in. You have those two cool folders. Really awesome. Yay. Super cool. Super cool. And you want to go back. You can delete those three things. Like just throw them right in the trash. Whoever needed readmes and links. Nobody needs those. Just toss them out the window. Copy your data, just drag in structures, drag them into your saves. Then drag those two folders into your structure generator folder. Click replace. Once that's done, you can go right back over to Minecraft. Sorry, I just did that for aesthetic reasons, whatever. Head right back over to Minecraft. Type slash reload. R-E-L-O-A-D. Reload. And then, you go to op, no, yeah, just showing you how to get there. You go to options, resource packs, open resource pack folder, and it will, as you see, open, just do command up arrow, and you're in your Minecraft folder. You go to save, structure generator, etc., 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 that's just how to get there. Then once, and then see it said, like, 
That so Tyrus will call on help. It auto completes. Let's watch it. You can literally just slash function. It auto completes it. So just click that Tyrus will call on help. And then you want to do. You want to set your density. I may. You. I recommend doing either two or three. Um. Here, actually, I'm showing you the protection thing first. So I'm, yeah, this protection method protects a, makes a 300 by 300 area where no, no, like nothing can spawn. No structures will spawn there. Now, if you do, if you do, um, Tyrus will call inspect it, you put in spectator mode with water breathing and night vision just to help you view the world better. So as you can see right now, I'm just trying to find the freaking barriers that it says will it will put on the 300 by 300 block limit. But yeah, you'd want to put that like when when you spawn the structure in. If you like, you have it at your base. When you create, when you start the file, if you're like at your base, you want to just run the protect file to protect your base. So anyway, so. I'm now I'm just still trying to find the border for whatever reason because I'm a moron. Whatever, so. Um, I failed to find the border, so I'm gonna slash go get back to the spawn. Here in a few seconds, once I get tired of looking. Because I'm crazy, I'm weird. But yeah, basically this thing will randomly generate structures in your world and... Um, yeah. Once you have it installed, you want to just do the help and then set your density. So, for example... I use four, but you guys, you guys, want to use either two or three, as those are the more normal settings. So, watch. I'm going to do a slash function. Type three equal and density. Oh, help again? Yeah. I said it's density four, but you guys want to do normal or common. Personally, I think you guys should use three. That way, you, as Tyrus describes it, you're definitely not gonna be able to avoid them, but there's not gonna be like freaking on top of each other. So you wanna run that and then like la 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 run that. And then you wanna do um Tyrus Wuko and Game Changer and that starts everything with a cool sound effect. As you can see he he listed his own Patreon and his website in there. Blah 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 blah. I'm just trying to see if they gave you some new commands like start clock. I didn't use those. You don't want to touch the start clocks one, two, three, four, or five. You don't want to touch them. They do a bunch of weird stuff that. Scary, scary commands you don't want to do. Technical. Doesn't matter. So now I'm just sitting here waiting for stuff for stuffs to happen. I don't know what I'm actually doing. I think I'm explaining something to you guys. I don't know. So now, from here on till the end of the video, it's going to be all is going to be all time lapse as I try to show you some structures. Please know I have horrible luck in the overall. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a, have a great day. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this one. And if you want to stay to the end of the video to see what I'm fairly sure is the proper way of adding custom structures in just stay to the end also um the colors at the bottom of the world represent different biomes and if i can i will put um actually i can't put it on screen because i didn't get one from tyrus so yeah uh bye, -bye. make sure to watch till the end of the video see ya
so you have your um, zip file or you have your individual files. You want to stick them in a folder. Like, for example, I have the folder pre-made here. Then just drag the folder into the other folder of um, structures. Of structures. And then just, you're done.